Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have to talk about all of the crazy things that went down yesterday inside of the FIBA 22 Ultimate Team market with the party bag market and how the SBC for the party bag and the OUR SBC really dropped the market yesterday. But fodder didn't rise. I want to talk about that. And also, stuff uh, coming up and heading into today on Wednesday. We're, we have a lot going on today because this is the last day of season two. Of course, uh, that is that is meaning that milestone rewards are going to come out with division rivals rewards later tonight into Thursday. And also today, we have our numbers up upgrade, the first upgrade uh, on these cards. They said it was going to happen in late December. Yesterday, they dropped this loading screen and they said, hey, it's starting tomorrow. So the upgrades are going to be all uh, the numbers up cards are going to get plus five on their specific numbers up attribute and then plus one everywhere else. And that has impacted the market a lot. A lot of those cards are up and I want to talk about those today as well. But first thing is we have to talk about our and the big time party bag SBC, which EA Sports was very smart with this one yesterday. And as it takes me forever to load into the game, we're going to head over to Footbin um, because they dropped this party bag SBC with a winter wild card swaps token as well. So they dropped a token with this and the party bag. I mean, they knew that everybody was going to go out and do this party bag SBC anyway, right? So they just dropped a token regardless beside it, 35,000 coins. And it's different, right? This is not the original party bag code that we had added uh, to the pack code like two weeks ago. There was actually a code that was put out um, early yesterday after my YouTube video went out last night, but before the 6 p.m. content drop, it was kind of like um, late morning UK time and like middle of the night my time um, where they dropped another party bag in the code and that's the one we had yesterday with ones to watch, rule breakers, Adidas numbers up, and team of the group stage. So it did not include the road to the knockouts and it also did, did not include signature signing. So, I mean, this party bag really is, it's 35,000 coins, it's pretty cheap. I got a once to watch Sabitzer out of this today. Um, it is a gamble, right? A lot of people did it. Basically, everybody is doing this SBC, especially for the token. I think this is probably going to be the most expensive SBC to get one of these uh, winter wildcard swap tokens. But everybody loves these, right? And we talked about that, uh, that everybody loves these sort of gamble SBCs. And that impacted the market a lot because people were packing those out-of-pack special cards uh, from those different promo teams. And some people were selling those on the market. Uh, so you saw a lot of people, there was some initial panic, then a bounce back. But then also at the same time yesterday, we had the OUR SBC. And this guy is making waves, right? OUR, of course, last year had the big time foot freeze. And they released a very insane card yesterday. Four star, four star for this item with high medium work rates. He's got really great shooting stats, really great passing stats, really great dribbling stats. This guy is just always good in game when they give him a special card. And midfielders across the entire game died in price yesterday, specifically just because of this card coming out, people selling what they had and doing this SBC and putting him in their team. 6,000 thumbs up on the first day of an SBC is mental. It is mental. If we go back here and look, 90% upvotes on this OUR SBC, which is which is wild, right? And people are going to be getting this done because this kind of player fits in so many people's teams with the links that he has, with the FIFA reputation that he has in this game as well. This guy is literally destroying the midfielder market right now on FIFA. So I want to take a look at some of that stuff. But of course, you might think, Ayo, hey, Nate, why did fodder not go up? Well, there's a couple things on that. EA Sports yesterday as well, alongside of everything that they did in the SBC section with those new SBCs, they dropped a new wildcard swaps uh, token uh, SBC available in this in the SBC section as well. Um, okay, yes, I have a tall amount of signs, so I'm gonna have to go into the store the other way. But they dropped lightning rounds. So a couple things they did yesterday that were a surprise, right? That, that second party bag, that was a surprise. The numbers up loading screen, that was a surprise. And then they dropped 86 plus star packs lightning rounds. One lightning round, that was it, which is definitely different. And I think that was purely in a fashion to keep SBC fodder under control. There's really no other reason why EA would drop one lightning round right when the SBC drops um, to do it, you know, other than to keep fodder under control. And I feel like with these extra lightning rounds that they have been running during winter wild cards on the weekend, you know, like the late night, early morning lightning rounds, uh, you know, and just releasing a lot of these packs, tradable packs as well. 
um, through the SBCs and untradeable packs through the SBCs, like the rare mega pack that we had from two days ago, Winter Wildcard Challenge, a prime mixed players pack for today's SBC. They're really trying to supply the market with a lot of this fodder so that it doesn't make the SBC cards actually on the market go up that much. Now, there were some cards that technically went up, right? If you look at the index 84, you would have never have thought this, but selling in the hype was actually the play or like during the first hour, because you can see 84 is when that new party bag code came out um, Tuesday in the morning started to climb because people see pack code like that and they expect an SBC that same day. So of course, 84 is went on 155 on the index all the way to 173. Now they're back down to one. Uh, 64 on the index, but the real piece of the puzzle yesterday, the real piece of fodder, right? The, the, the part of the fodder market that moved the most was actually informs. All informs are up a couple thousand coins. I actually sold a, um, a couple informs that I had in my club. I sold one for 12,000 coins. And then I sold another one, uh, the, the mailman, as we call him, right? Joaquin Mele, the left back, for um is it lazio i don't even know what, what team this guy plays for bergamo calcio which i forget what team that is even supposed to be uh you know EA doesn't have the rights for all these teams so whatever team melee plays for it's escaping me at the moment i saw this guy for nineteen thousand coins so check your club right check your club also i don't want to be embarrassed because where does this guy play for joachim melee remember him from the euros he plays for atalanta dang it Atalanta. Okay, that does not look like an A whatsoever, EA Sports. Man, just get the rights, please, so that I don't have to guess with this stuff. Anyways, I should have known that. That's on me. My apologies. Anyway, check your clubs for informs because they are all inflated in price. Now, personally, I did the party bag yesterday. I got Sabitzer. I am going to do Awar 100% because this item just looks cracked. But the reason informs went up is because there were basically, if you did the Awar, and the party bag SBC yesterday, there was two informs required for the party bag and two informs required for our. So most people that did both SBCs yesterday had to go out and get four informs off the market to complete this SBC. That's a lot of demand. That's a lot of demand on informs. So that's why you saw those go up the most on the market yesterday. But just to kind of point out some of the midfielders that went down a bunch in price yesterday, some of them have rebounded back. In cards, the winter impacts, the winter wild cards items like Luka Modric was all the way down at 770,000 coins. I do think he bounced back a little bit, but now he's back down there again, 774K. Pogba, who I actually picked a couple of him up to try to flip on a rebound. Um, I picked a couple up at 1 million flat, and I'm really hoping to get like one point. 1.09 he's pretty rare but you can see he's 1.03 1.04 so that card is down like 200,000 coins you take a look at some other spots on the market that are even out of packs cards one card that i saw drop a ton yesterday was fred take a look at this ucl road of the knockouts fred he was like 300,000 coins he was down to 250k at one point i believe he's still right around that 250k range yeah 250 260 so yeah, 250 flat for Fred. So midfielders across the whole entire game yesterday got destroyed because people were selling the item that they had in their club to go and get the brand new AWR. So you did see a few of those League One links actually rise. Um, I had some Atal signature signings that were still on my transfer list that I bought at like 67,000 coins. Now Atal went from, he was actually 60,000 coins flat. He was 60K flat at the content drop with all the panic of the party bag and the Atal SBC dropping. So we went from like 65K down to 60 and now is back up over 70. You saw other links to uh, the AWAR card rise up really, really well. There were a ton of, there was a ton of basically just panic selling and then rebound yesterday, right? And I was able to make a lot of coins. Take a look at this Thiago Jalo, right? One of the best League One special center backs, 340K. He was 290 yesterday at one point. But yesterday was just a story of buying some of the cards in the panic. I bought a bunch of Kundes at like two. 237 to 247 sold those between 270 and 280 i bought some i bought some jonathan davids during that first lightning round sold most of those or bought them for like 120 sold for 135 i got some panic cells uh on mbabu at like 99 to 100 000 coins sold those at 125 to 127 
And I also picked up on a couple more Atolls that I have. I picked a couple Bombas. And you see these numbers up cards. And we're going to talk about those in a second. But when the loading screen dropped yesterday, I went out very quickly on the market and picked up a few of these. Two D Marias, three Ter Stegans at 95 to 99 k And then I bought a Joao Felix at 548 and it sold them at 645. So it was a huge day of profit. I also picked up a Gabby Jesus at 495, sold them at 549. He's actually even a little higher than that right now. But that was kind of the story of the market yesterday. When a party bag or a big SBC like that comes out, you see so many people go out and sell cards and then they have to buy some stuff back, right? Because some of that stuff that they sold to do an SBC, they're like, man, ah, oh, crap, I didn't pack that player or I didn't get anything that insane. So I got to buy some stuff back. And of course, with the Awar SBC that so many people were going and doing, they went back and they bought links to Awar. So since we have this SBC live in the game now, especially as we head into this weekend on this game, make sure you keep an eye on League One links. Right? There's supposed to be another League One center back as one of the SBCs that is a leak, of course, um, potentially dropping soon on this game as a Winter Wild Cards SBC. So that would drive even more demand for some of those League One special cards that are very meta and very usable that would people, people would maybe link him to Awar and stuff like that. So just keep an eye out for that one. Now let's talk about today, right? There was a ton that went on yesterday. There was a lot going on. But I want to talk about today, too, because I also think today is going to be a pretty crazy day. Again, with this loading screen, I want to go back and explain it just slightly again. Numbers up cards are getting their upgrades today. This is the first uh, of two post uh, in packs upgrades. Now, I do not believe these cards are coming back into packs today. Nothing like that. Wednesdays seem to be like for ones to watches and, and when they do these upgrades to kind of performance based cards, it seems to be their upgrade day. So today we're going to get all of the numbers up cards. If you remember what specific upgrade each of those players were getting, like Joao Felix has 90 pace in his card. He's going to get plus five on his numbers up attribute, which is pace. And then the rest of his card is going to get a plus one today. So like Jota, like Eder Militao. Eder Militao um, has the Predator boot, which is 99 dribbling. So Militao is going to go from 80 dribbling to 85 dribbling because of today's update. Um, and, and these cards, they're, are, they're already rising up, right? People saw this loading screen. They went out and they bought some of these cards kind of like I did. Jota was like 280. He went to 325. Joao Felix is getting rare again, 660k. Militao went from 550 to, to over 600,000 coins. I bought two Di Marias at uh, 199 and 200k. He's 225. So a lot of these cards are up. And again, some of these could rise a little bit more this morning on Wednesday, but my, especially with the market being as cheap as it is right now, it's such an SBC based promo and everybody is focused on those SBCs. Um, I would really take the coins on some of these cards. If you bought them low and you're making some profit, I would take the coins on these because I think there's more room for them to drop with potentially more insane SBCs and more insane cards coming with the wild cards team too on uh, Friday. I would take the coins. That's just my suggestion for you. If you bought a few of these players and you're making some profit, I would take the coins today before the upgrade. Most likely there might be a couple of them that rise after the upgrade, but I feel like that's only going to be just for a couple of these cards. Not very many. Um, most of them, I think, are going to rise so much in pre-upgrade that it will be a sell. So that's just my opinion on that. Also, we're going to have a brand new team of the week today. Uh, which according to the, the Twitter machine, a couple of these cards that are in the le uh, in the predictions for Team of the Week like Quadrado, Kevin De Bruyne, and actually Lewandowski, I've heard, are all leaked to be coming today. So Lewandowski, KDB, Quadrado are all in Team of the Week today. It is supposedly leaked uh, as well as Martinelli. Um, I've seen a couple of those names leaked for Team of the Week today. So that'll be sort of interesting. Um, maybe the new Lewandowski will also have 80 pace like his team of the group stage card. I think Kevin De Bruyne's signature signings item is down in price a little bit right now. Um, yeah, 840K. I mean, that's down a little bit, but that just might be because of the drop from Awar yesterday and midfielders. Yeah, he was he was 900K. He I don't know if he's really going to drop that much because of Team of the Week. Uh, hype. I mean, a KDB today is probably going to be 92 rated. It's going to have like 78 pace most likely. It's not going to be as good as this 93 signature signings De Bruyne. But that's just, if you have a team of the week pack saved, this sounds like a pretty good week to open up a team of the week pack if you've been waiting uh, to, to open one of those. 
with some big name players and some players that'll probably cost a decent amount right off the bat today. So other things that we can expect today, we talked about the upgrades for the signature for the uh, numbers up cards, of course, uh, the team of the week. And also I think today we'd be looking out for a potential loading screen for the Winter Wild Cards Team 2. Now, since it's a Team 2, they might not actually add the loading screen until tomorrow on Thursday. And we're gonna talk a lot more about Winter Wild Cards Team 2 because there's been a ton of leaks and a ton of movements already on the market uh, about Team 2. But I guess there's a slight possibility of that coming out today. And also we would have another daily player SBC, which I really don't know who it's going to be today. I mean, there's a lot of leaked names that are headed that are headed out there. Um, usually the guys that are posting the leaks, they post the tweet like 10 minutes before the content drop. Hey, this guy's going to be coming today. This is the SBC. I think like Etebo and Kaza, uh, those are some of the names that are being thrown out there. Also Kynes, we talked about him yesterday. He could potentially be the SBC player today. Um, so just one of those three, I think would be most likely, but I really don't know. All I can tell you is we're getting another winter wildcards SBC, a player SBC. So Wednesday is going to be very interesting today because new team of the week, those upgrades. I wonder if it's going to be like Monday with this McGloyer, where it was a little bit more of a laid back content day after EA sports knows that yesterday on this game, they dropped some insane stuff with our and the party bag and the lightning rounds, but for the market perspective, there's still a lot going on because of those numbers up upgrades. And one thing I really want to talk about today are the milestone rewards. I know a lot of you guys maybe want to invest or to buy into some of the winter wildcard items for team number one of winter wild cards because the, let's face it again these cards are cracked right these cards are so good but season rewards are going to get paid out with this new reset so depending on where you are in your season you're going to get you know whatever reward it is for whatever division you're in i'm going to get a jumbo premium gold players pack untradeable and again last time that we saw this happen at the end of season one there really wasn't that much of a market impact. There was actually the most market impact happened before rewards because everybody was so scared that the cards were going to get supplied so much. But in reality, the cards that are getting packed as a part of um, milestone rewards uh, later tonight into tomorrow, they are untradeable, right? All of those packs are untradeable. So, you know, some cards, if you see dropping, especially on some of these winter wild card items, right? I'm taking a look at like Kingsley Coman. If you want to buy him for your team, uh, of course, we've got more players that are coming out this weekend for winter wild cards team too, that might hurt his price a little bit. But if there's any items that you want to get that you don't think are going to be dropping over this next weekend, or you want to buy one for the team before they go out of packs, um, maybe it's Jonathan David, right? This is a very hot card in this game at the moment. He was 170,000 coins yesterday. Today, 130,000 coins, right? This card has really dropped down in price. And with all the League One links being the hype right now, he's a very interesting card. A lot of people are using him. And I think this is a card that has potential to rise tomorrow after the milestone rewards. But I really do think that people are going to wait to buy either during uh, or after those that rewards time frame because they're going to be a little bit afraid of the supply on the market again. But I'm here to tell you, I don't think you have to be that afraid of the supply because um, unless there's some really insane content again today on Wednesday, it really is going to seem like people are going to get their division rivals rewards. I mean, a lot of people have done the objectives in the past week or two. A lot of people have done their icon swaps by now. And the focus is going to shift a little bit more back to the weekend league, back to division rivals. Again, we have the updates after rivals rewards in the new season tomorrow on Thursday, where there's going to be new foot champions rewards in place. Qualifying for the weekend league through foot champs playoffs is going to be easier with less division rivals skill points or foot champ skill points required. So I think that's going to rejuvenate some people to go out and buy teams. So I really think that after rewards tomorrow, these wild cards are going to go up. Now, I don't know how long they're going to go up. I don't know how much they're going to go up, but I also think you're going to have people selling these today on Wednesday, um, you know, just because they're 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 going to want to get ready and they're going to fear that these cards might drop a little bit during that rewards time frame, and that they're going to look they're going to look to buy during rewards. And again, I'm just here to tell you that you might see big enough drop offs before rewards that that might actually be the time frame. Now, one other thing, since we didn't expect lightning rounds yesterday and a lot of these cards dropped 
a lot of these cards are looking really cheap for where they were before, right? Coman was like 650. He's now 600. Pogba was 1.2. Fabinho was 450. Milinkovic Savage was like 150, 160K. Spinazzola was 150. Uh, you know, Jonathan David was 160, 170. So a lot of these cards are looking cheap, right? Because they dropped, you know, some of them dropped like 5, 10% yesterday on this game. Um, because of lightning rounds. Now, one thing to just keep an eye out for as well, and this could really impact the market today too, is if EA decided to drop more lightning rounds on Wednesday because they actually did it last week with this team of the week, uh, 13. Last week on Wednesday, they did run lightning rounds. I don't expect them to do it again, but there's always an outside shot that they could. So if they run lightning rounds today, that might create a scenario where these winter wild cards get really cheap right after the content drop but if there's no lightning rounds i would watch them drop into the evening as i do think people will sell some of them off before rewards they're going to get too low then they're probably going to bounce back up later as people look to buy them so that's kind of what i'm expecting for the rewards market tomorrow i also think that golds are going to do well i mean look how much these golds have Varan is 59k 59,000 coins after being 70k earlier in the week i mean he was literally 72,000 coins before the Icon SBC on Monday. And then yesterday he went back up to about 63, boom, went down to 53K and is now back up to 59. I mean, these gold cards are probably gonna be items as well that do pretty well after the milestone rewards timeframe tomorrow. I do think you will see a decent market rise there. So any of these meta gold cards that you wanna buy like Marquinhos, Kempembe, they have rebounded back again because of their links to the, um, the Awar SBC, of course. But just keep an eye out for that sort of stuff. If you bought any of the ice cards yesterday, I want to talk about this really fast. A lot of these rebounded too. Like the, the Jesus was down at 500k flat. He's now 570. I bought a bunch of Claude Maurice at like 26,000 coins. He is up. Kunde is up. Joe Gomez is up. Rashford, Valverde, literally the whole gamut of all of these cards, except for Adama. He's only up like five, 6,000 coins. A lot of these cards rose up yesterday. I think the supply on them is done, right? If somebody got a new ice version from the compensation from EA Sports, then that kind of, those those crazy movements are kind of done. So again, Jesus is really mad cheap on the market if you wanted to, to go out and pick one of those up for your team or something. So that kind of stuff I feel like is over. You still could see some more panic selling on those on the weekend. But um, for now, those prices should, should chill out a little bit and kind of rebound back to, to not what they were. By no means do I think that Ice Jesus is again going to be an 800,000 coin card, but start to rebound back from the low prices that they were because of all the supply that they had. So it's going to be a big day for numbers up today. It's going to be a big day for team of the week. And we're going to be keeping a close eye on winter wild cards. Team one going out of packs as a lot of people will want to buy them for their teams and put them in their squads. Again, focus on French links, focus on Ligue 1. That's where everybody's gonna be looking, but that's where also everybody's wanting to buy. That's where all the demand is after the LR SBC. And especially if we get another Ligue 1 player SBC today, that would be something to keep an eye out for, uh, depending on that content. So I know I've been saying that we're gonna talk about winter wild cards team too, but just with everything that's been happening on the market, we'll talk about that tomorrow because it's just been such a crazy day with the AWAR, with the um, the party bag SPC, which by the way, the party bag, I believe is out for like three days or something. So I would almost guarantee you that we are going to see another party bag SPC um, in the, like later on this weekend. I, I don't think this is the only party bag that we're going to see. I think there's going to be a second one, probably with the same requirements. So just kind of keep that in mind. Save a little bit of fodder if you have some uh, in your club, because that's probably going to be an SBC that makes a reappearance later on. So that's the video for today. Crazy day yesterday. Seriously, an absolutely wild day on the market with two insane SBCs that a lot of people are going out and doing. You can see by the completion rates, by the upvotes on Footbin, and just by the way the price has moved on the market that it was a crazy day. Numbers up upgrades today, a lot of market movements with the milestone rewards. That's gonna be a very interesting place to be and to watch the market as well. So if you enjoyed the video today, make sure to hit a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It has been Nate the Foot Account and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.